Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, we are going to look at recreating something that I saw on the Cadence website. So I was recently browsing on their website, checking out the row layout block, and I scrolled down to the bottom, and what I saw was this single column layout with the gradient overlay background. And I thought it would be really great to create a tutorial video to show you how to create this on your own website. So here I am in my website. I already have the Cadence theme installed and the free Cadence Blocks plugin installed. So I'm gonna come here to Pages and I'm going to add a new page. So you'll be able to add this to a page or a blog post. So I'm going to give my page a title And now what we want to do is to add the row layout block. So there are three ways we can do that. The first is here, we can click on this plus icon. The second is up at the top, we can click the toggle block inserter and then click on row layout. And the third and my favorite is to type in forward slash and type in row space layout and then click on the row layout block. That will then add the row layout block to your post or your page and then you can select how many columns you would like in your row. So for this example we would just like one single column so I'm going to click on this here. That's then going to add one row with a column in it and the first thing we need to do is to add the background image. Now I've already downloaded the image from the Cadence website so I'm going to come to this second tab here that says style and I'm going to select the image from my media library. So there it is there, I've already uploaded it and I can select that. That then adds in my image and I just wanna create some height in my row. So I'm just gonna pop over to the advanced tab and come to set structure settings and change the minimum height to about 600. Now the next thing we want to do is to add the gradient overlay. So to do that, we're gonna come down to these background overlay settings. But before I do that, I just wanna give you a quick cadence tip is whenever you're finished, with a settings, it's always good to close that tab. It just makes it easier for you to navigate around the block. So we're gonna work in the background overlay settings and we're going to choose the gradient overlay type by clicking on this button here. That will then add the gradient overlay and we can come here and choose the colors we would like. So I've already picked the orange and the green from the Cadence website. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to paste in the hex codes. So I've already got them here. So I'm going to copy them and paste them over. And there we go. So on the row layout block example they have on the Cadence website, it's a very hard line between the two colors. So in order to create that, what we need to do is to come here to the left hand side circle, click on it and drag it into the middle and do the same with the circle on the right hand side. We're going to click on it and we're going to drag it all the way until it is on top of the other circle. And there we go. So we have created this hard line with an angle kind of slanting to the right. Now to change the angle, all you need to do is come down to the bottom here, change the numerical value, or you can come here to the right and kind of click and go around the circle to change the angle of your color. And there we go. That's how simple it is to create that gradient effect on a row. Now, if you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. On my channel, you'll find loads more videos on creating a website using Cadence. Thank you, and I will see you soon.